Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Eileen and welcome back to Eileen's World. I recently just came back from a trip to Paris with my family and I, of course, did a little bit of shopping. So, if you're nosy and you wanna find out what I bought and what I have in these bags and also how I got my tax refund, or VAT refund, then just keep watching. So of course, as an American, uh, going to Europe is always a good excuse to go shopping and you know, save a little bit of money when you're spending a little bit of money. So before the trip, I did have like a little wish list of things that I wanted to buy and I try not to um, be super specific on what I want because you never really know if they're gonna have a style and then you don't wanna be let down. So I went with a very open mind and I'm really excited that I came back with two really amazing things and I haven't opened these boxes yet because I've been waiting to film this video. So God, I, I hope they gave me the right size in these. It took a lot of self-control to not open these as soon as I got them and had to bring them all the way back to America to open it with you guys. So the first item that I got was from the Chanel boutique on Rue Cambon, which is the most famous Chanel boutique. And I have to say the service in there was amazing. They have two boutiques now on that street. And I actually went to the first one, which is right on the corner and that one apparently is the newer boutique. They didn't have the size that I wanted in this particular shoe that I bought, so they sent me over to the Rue, Com the 31 Rue Cambon uh, boutique because they had the size. And I have to say, I was really impressed with the service. Our fashion advisor was really helpful, really kind, and it was truly a luxury experience. And after we made the purchase, um, he also walked us over to the next room, which is the one that has a staircase that leads up to Coco Chanel's former apartment and also where the atelier is and gave us some time to take pictures, which I really appreciated. So let's open this up. So here is the box that it's in. And this specific item uh, was one that was actually on my wish list that I was looking for. This is a classic item, so I wasn't too concerned about it not being in stock. So the first item that I got are these Chanel sling bags. So these are the versions uh, that have the heel. I believe the heel is 2.6 inches. And I got the version that is in the beige lambskin with the black gras grain um, toe. Look at the detail. It has this gold Chanel emblem on the heel. So I'll also put the prices on the screen of how much I bought them for and I'll convert them into US dollars and also what the final price was for me after the VAT refund. So this is what the shoes look like. Aren't they so pretty? So the reason why I got this shoe, um, aside from the fact that it's a classic style, is that it's one of the few that actually come in a wide width. And if you watched any of my videos before about shoes or my luxury shoe collection, you guys know that I have really wide feet and Chanel shoes are notorious for being really narrow. So I got these in a size 40 C, which is a size 40, but in the wide width. I'm really excited to wear these shoes with like skinny jeans and dresses. They do have a black option as well too, but I like the contrast of the beige with the black. So these were 810 euros and that converts to 953 dollars. 
and with the 20%, sorry, it was actually 12%, um, that or tax that I get back, it will come to $793. Such a classy lady shoe. Any more classy lady shoes in my life? All right, going into the next item that I bought. I first saw this pair at the uh, Rue Cambon location. Unfortunately, they didn't have my size, so I had to go to Galleries Lafayette and their Chanel shoe department to purchase these. So let's look at these. These are heavy. These ones I'm so excited for. Ah! Look at these! So these are the Chanel loafers in black with the gold hardware. And what I love about this is that the turn lock is exactly what you find in the Chanel bags and it's actually functional. You know, so you can twist it. So I wasn't planning on buying um, these loafers, but I wear these kind of shoes every day at work. So I'm like, these, these are worth it. These were 1,150 euros, which converts to $1,363. And with the tax back, it comes to $1,000. $137 and I got these in a size 40 and a half reason being is that um, these don't come in wide so I had to size up half a size you know shoes like this that are a little bit more stiff make me nervous but I think this is a goat skin because it's not as stiff as it appears to be for a loafer and if I can break into those Gucci loafers I'm gonna have no problem with this right here so I also want to quickly go over the VAT refund process and how it was um, considering that I experienced it in both a boutique and also in a department store which is Galleries Lafayette so first and foremost, if you know that you're going to be shopping or plan on going shopping, especially at like a luxury store, make sure you bring your passport with you. If you haven't watched my um, luxury bag collection video, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but seven years ago when I was in Paris, I wanted to buy a Chanel bag and it turned into kind of a mess because I went to the boutique and I didn't have my passport with me and I needed my passport with me so that they could fill out the paperwork to process the VAT refund. And then long story short, the next day was like a Sunday and all boutiques are closed on Sundays in, in Paris. So blah, 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 blah. So this time I learned my lesson and I knew that on the day that I was going to go shopping or plan on going shopping, I brought, I brought my passport with me because I don't want to be carrying my passport every single day when I'm out. So at the Chanel boutique, when you are, um, when you are finalizing payment for the item, they do ask you if you want tax free and of course I want tax free so they take your passport they fill out the paperwork and everything is ready to go for you they put it in an envelope basically you'll take the envelope to the airport and process it there so at galleries Lafayette they have these self-service kiosks that kind of look like ATM machines that um, are located on different levels of the department store and I think there's like I don't know like seven levels in that department store so just make sure you read the signs to see where the kiosks are at and what you will do is you will basically take your passport, you'll scan it, and then you'll also scan the barcode that is on the receipt um, from your purchase and you'll fill out all the information that they need. It just takes a couple minutes and then all the documents will print out for you and then they have envelopes, you'll put it in the envelope. From there, I do believe they give you like 30 days to 
submit the paperwork or whatever it was, but I mean, I don't think most people are staying that long anyway. So when you get to the airport, depending on what terminal you're flying out of, um, check online, it'll tell you where these tax refund uh, centers are at. So we flew out of Terminal 2E, I believe, which is probably the most common international terminal that people are flying in and out from. And it was really easy to find. I'll put it in a picture <clears throat> of where the, um, the tax refund center was located. If you do want to get the cash refund, at the airport just make sure you give yourself a little bit of time because you never know how long those lines are i just wanted a credit card refund and that's faster because you just make sure you seal the documents in the envelope that they provide and then you drop it in a box and then you are good to go forgot to mention that before dropping in your envelopes you do actually have to fill out a couple questions on this machine so i just got back from my trip um, a couple days ago so I haven't got my refund yet and I'll update down in the description box below on how long it took and any of that overall it was a very quick easy process I mean people do this all the time so they really make it simple for you so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys uh, enjoyed watching me unbox these two new shoes that I'm gonna add to my collection and if you have any questions about the refund process or about shopping in Paris, let me know down in the comments below and there will be a Paris vlog coming up shortly with lots of tidbits on uh, traveling during COVID and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!